Good morning, folks. Beautiful, uh, cooler morning this morning. And a special good morning to folks uh, in Shed Wars and those that are following Shed Wars. We're going to do a little update on uh, the plants that are growing out to seed now. So I hope you enjoy. Going to start right here. You see, this is actually in the flower stage. This is just a little green flower that shows up on spinach. It'll be similar to beets and whatever as well. All amaranth puts out a really big flower spike on top and then it'll put out little bits down further. Just looking for some that has a nice open flower head now. The flowers are so little tiny. You see the little white bits on here? So that is actually the stamen sticking out of the actual flower in behind. Um, it's very difficult to see an individual flower on a hamaranth plant. Here's the lettuce with the reddish colored leaves. The flowers are just about ready to open now. They have fairly large flowers. You'll see when they get open. Now this is one to catch. This is carrots. And right on cue you see that little tiny bug there. Almost every flying insect going will pollinate this type of flower head. I haven't, uh, I don't remember ever seeing the bloodsucker types on here, but every other insect, things like dragonflies, house flies, deer flies, as you know, they can go quite some distance when they take off before they land again. Because flowers is not their main goal. The traditional pollinators, they're the bugs that flit from flower to flower. So this type of flower head, you got to separate varieties quite some distance to be sure that they're not going to cross pollinate. The plant is leaning out. I should have put a couple of those tomato cage things around them, but I didn't. Hindsight's 2020. Now what I'm going to have to do is put some good stakes in. And put some lines up because here it's hanging out over the corn. I don't want it to do that. And over here it's hanging out in the pathway. And so it's in the way of walking by. And worse yet, as the seed develops, they'll become even heavier. And they can hang down right close to the ground. And then you can get the slugs and stuff with some of the ground based uh, insects actually feeding on the developing uh, fruit where the seed are. So this I want to keep up. Here's the beets. Long way from being ready yet to open yet. But as you can see it, it is coming out similar to what the uh, spinach we just seen her. This is a uh, rain gauge that I tried to make. Can't remember if I mentioned this in an earlier one or no. That caterpillar that it likes to infest parsnip uh, seeds, then they'll just destroy the old seed head. But now the ones that came out later, they're coming along just nicely, they'll be okay. As far as the parsnip seeds go, see this is the bigger plant here. See the fruit are very far along here and starting to dry up, eh? They start out green as they're going and then they get mature, they turn, it's kind of a purplish color, but they'll turn completely brown before they're ready. And uh, this entire stem down here will dry right up. 
came up to the where I got most of the herbs because I have a beautiful dill plant here three of them in fact and the flowers are opening up not all of these flowers are completely open yet but they're getting along so that's the uh, that's the buds there and uh, then there they are opening up you can see the stamen stick way out of the flowers there the stamen by the way is the male part of the flower this thing if you grow them for yourself well there's no reason to collect the seeds really but it puts on a flower head every time once again it's a one of those really open umbrals they call it um, and so if there's another variety in the area very easy for it to cross but as they get all pollinated you see they dry right up like this and the black tiny black little bits there if you can ignore the brown and focus on the very blackish type bit that's the seed you can imagine that tiny little seed that's what comes of it a huge plant I'll point out this one because we can show you the seed on this one too later on so this is a uh, parsley plant you see all of these little most of these little green things down here are uh, parsley they grew up because parsley is a biennial or if the weather is not favorable for the, them to flower in the second year they might go to third year which is what happened to me but now this one is in its second year and it's flowering uh, and the bud they're not open yet but that's how they grow this is the kale um, the other brassicas that have flowered are way over on the other side of the garden so I don't think it crossed I can collect seed from there. They, they didn't all um, pollinate apparently because I've got pieces of seed and old pods grew. But uh, there's seed pod right there. Now I'll go over to the other side where the mustard is. Ignore the weed bed full of weeds. Mustard is a relative of the uh, brassicas and can cross with them. They're getting quite well along now but not quite dried up yet and uh, that's similar to what you'll get on the uh, brassicas but they're a um, little fatter and they stick straight out instead of hanging down like the brassica ones do and that's ones there that are still green you see as I said uh, different varieties of amaranth they have different flower heads. Love lies bleeding. It's been bred to get a flower head hang down like that because it's even though you can use the seed from that as a grain, they're bred for the looks, for ornamental sake, and so that's why the uh, seed head hangs down like that. We're back here with our volunteers now. And the dill plants, they're opening up. They're not as uh, thick as the one over in the other bed. But, like I say, they're coming along. And we will see what will happen to this in our... It's basically going to be a reseeding annual bed, right? Of uh, reseeding food crops. So this is the green lettuce here. And uh, the flower heads flower spikes are coming right along such hot dry weather this is why most of this brownish stuff was on here um, they just haven't been getting enough uh, rain that's all and so all the plants are kind of weak 
really I think if I had been watering more um, even the dill would have been much more robust onions this one is actually starting to dry up well, this is what they turn into after the flowers are uh, pollinated and a capsule it's not a fruit just a little capsule that it encloses you see it's got three bracts on the ca on each capsule and there's three seeds inside each one I can't remember any other thing I was supposed to uh, document for the sake of seeds so I guess we've come to the end of this short little video and hopefully you enjoyed it and you'll hit that like button and you'll come back for the next update as you probably noticed <laughs> when I decide that an update is necessary thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one